Today I want to walk through the features of the Oilify filter inside of the GIMP. The Oilify filter is in the artistic set. When you first open it up, it looks kind of intimidating in part because of these auxiliary input items. I will cover these after I cover the basic functions or adjustments that you can make within the filter, which are mask radius, exponent, number of intensities, and the intensity mode. The auxiliary input files will allow you to selectively apply the mask radius and exponent features of the filter. So it's easier to go through the, the basics of what those mean prior to explaining how the auxiliary inputs work. So without further ado, mask radius is analogous to brush size. So for a small level, you have more detail. For a larger value, you have less detail as if you were painting with a larger brush. Here's some examples of different levels. The exponent value, to be honest, I do not quite understand how this works. In general, I'm going to use this, this to start with to show you how this works. In general, when the exponent is low, the image is softer. And as you increase the exponent level, the shapes of the brush marks, if you will, get more defined. So it's as if you're defining your size of your brush mark with the mask radius and then the exponent defines how crisp those outlines are. The third entity or adjustment that you can make is called the number of intensities. And this is how many colors or how many depths to each color that you get. The higher the number, the more refined and detailed the image becomes. Related to the number of intensities is this checkbox called the intensity mode. I'll take this back down. I'm going to take it down to a low number to show you um, how it works. If you use it at the higher number, you don't see as much effect. So if you uncheck the box, you'll notice that the colors change, becomes a little more, well, I, I would call it surreal. We have a lot, the black is, is here. When you check the box, it looks more like your original image. So it's a way to get a more abstract look on your piece of art. So those are the four basic adjustments that you can make. You have the size of the stroke, how soft or crisp the outline of the stroke is, and the number of levels of tone for each color. And then you can choose whether or not you want to have the intensity mode, which is an algorithm turned on or off.
In order to demonstrate how the auxiliary input files work, I created a series of test patterns that are simple in black and white. I chose black and white because the way the auxiliary inputs work is that black is a low value and white is a high value. The high value is determined by the basic slider inside of the Oilify filter. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to blur this up a little bit so you can see where things are applied and where they aren't. So for this one, the aux input, if there is just this input, it acts essentially like a, a layer mask almost and the effect is applied where it is white and not applied where it is black. You can see the top half where it's black is the original image. The bottom half where it's white, the, the values of the basic sliders are applied. When aux2 is specified, then this, the aux input, refers to the mask radius value, and the aux2 input determines how much of the exponent basic value is applied. So let's take some stripes. And you can see, and I'm going to um, show some more extreme cases so you can see more clearly. In the top half, because it's black, there's no effect. In the bottom half, because it's black for the exponent value, the low number, the exponent is a low number, essentially 1 or 0, and it's blurry, and the high number um, is determined by the slider and that's more crisp and you can see that black white black white so you have low number high number low number high number as you go through this way it also works as a gradient so with the gradient applied it's a low number on this side where it's black and it's the high number designated by the value in the slider on the side of the gradient where it's white. You can use this to do some interesting patterns and get interesting effects. So here's a four patch. So this it's unapplied and unapplied and applied and applied. That's And you can see that it, it overlays moving across this way. You can also, for example, here, let's do white feathered. So in the center of the circle, you can see the lines. If you look real carefully, you can see the lines. It's a feathered circle. Um, it's blurry or a low value of exponent on the outer edges. And as you move toward the center and then get to the place where the circle is totally white, the full exponent value of 19, which is a crisp value, is applied. And you can use this within your picture to kind of get some artistic effects. Um, I hope this is helpful. I had quite a bit of trouble figuring out how these auxiliary inputs worked. Um, but hopefully you can uh, go on from here and do some creative effects. Take care. Bye.